Hi, I'm Jordan Wilson with Caster Headquarters, and today we're going to talk about general duty casters. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the applications that these are commonly used in, the different sizes that we offer, and the different will materials. And then we'll compare the difference between a general duty and a standard institutional duty that you'll commonly find in the caster industry. To get started, general duty casters are some of the most economically affordable casters in the industry. And the typical industries these are served in would be for OEMs, which are original equipment manufacturers. So there's a lot of companies that manufacture, for example, store fixtures or displays, whether this is for retail stores like gas stations or grocery stores or clothing stores. So pretty much anywhere where there's a display or a store fixture, most of the time those are on caster wheels. And usually those don't weigh a whole lot. So a general duty caster is the perfect caster for these large OEMs that make this equipment because it's a very affordable caster when they're making these products in bulk. Now as long as you abide by the load capacity rating for each caster, these are generally gonna last you just as long as an institutional caster. Um, the only difference is general duty casters have one single ball bearing raceway as a institutional caster has a double ball bearing raceway. And I'll go ahead and show you what that means and we'll go ahead and talk about the differences on that one feature. So here is a general duty caster and this right here is the raceway. And as you can see, it's a single ball raceway. There's not a secondary one on the lower race. Um, and what that does is the raceway basically is going to allow you to swivel the caster because there's ball bearings in here that allows it to turn. Well, a single ball raceway is not going to have or offer as much weight capacity or load capacity compared to a caster that has a double ball raceway. Now, this one has a double ball raceway. This is an institutional caster. And as you can see, there's an upper raceway here and a lower raceway under here. And so this is gonna handle a little bit more load capacity and it's gonna be a little bit easier to swivel and overall, um, the manufacturing of it is just a little bit better quality on how this is staked. One other feature on the general duty that's different from our institutional duty is the thickness of the mounting plates. So as you can see, our institutional has a little bit thicker material all around, especially on the mounting plate. Um, and the general duty has a much thinner um, mounting plate. And here's the comparison side by side. And if you were to put these next to each other, you can kind of see the difference on the thickness. It's not significant, but it is significant enough to um, reduce the weight capacity that the general duty casters can handle. So those two things are typically where you're gonna see the cost savings because there's less material um, and there's only a single ball raceway instead of a double ball raceway. Now, like I said, as long as you abide by the load capacity, depending on the size of the caster uh, that you're gonna be using this for, these are generally gonna last you just as long as the institutional casters. Now, if you're buying the general duty casters um, for an application where it's gonna be used every single day, I would probably recommend you spend a little bit more money and go with an institutional caster. It's gonna last you a lot longer, it's gonna hold up to more impact, and it's going to be able to maneuver and turn a little bit easier, all while holding more weight capacity. Now, if it's going to be an application where they're not moved day in and day out, then this is a great caster for your application. Some other applications these are commonly used for, you'll see these on light duty wooden furniture dollies. You'll see these on some light duty appliances, and uh, of course, fixtures, and displays out there in the retail world, but these can be attached and mounted to just about any piece of equipment or work table, workbench, uh, or anything for your, your garage or your shop. Uh, but again, just go by the capacity of the of the casters and uh, you should be good. Now we do offer these with a few different wheel materials that are very common in the industry. Um, so we'll go ahead and start. Uh, we have a hard rubber wheel material like this one, and that's a solid one piece hard rubber wheel. And this is a great wheel because it's gonna hold a decent amount of weight capacity capacity. Um, it's not going to delaminate because it's a solid one piece rubber wheel. It's not too hard, but it's not
not too soft and so it's not going to flat spot and it's not going to be loud when you roll it. It's still going to be quiet and easy rolling. Then you have a steel wheel like this design right here and the steel wheels um, depending on the size that you get have different hub designs. So if you're looking to just add a aesthetic caster to a piece of furniture um, for your home or your coffee table or something, a lot of customers will buy these uh, steel wheels which are really good quality. We actually manufacture these here in the USA and they're made out of a solid steel billet. And so these are very, very solid, heavy duty steel wheels. Now steel wheels are going to scratch your floors. And so if you have wood floors or tile or something like that, it's a little bit softer. I wouldn't recommend really rolling the steel wheels too frequently because it could damage your expensive floors. Now, if it's on smooth, hard concrete floor with no debris, steel wheels are a great application. Or if it's sitting on in a living room and it's not being rolled, it's going to be fine if it's just for like a display piece. Um, but again, the steel wheels are very hard. And so you do have to be careful of that material scratching your floors if it's going to be rolled frequently. Then we have polyurethane wheels. These are little two inch casters, different colors, but you have a polyurethane tread on a polyolefin, which is industrial plastic core. Now these are great wheels because they have a hard durometer. They offer a pretty good weight capacity for their size and they're completely non-marking. They won't leave scratches, marks, or streaks on your floors and they're resistant to chemicals and washdown applications. All of our general duty casters are zinc plated, which means there is a plating of zinc over the still that's going to add uh, additional rust and corrosion resistance. So if these are exposed to chemicals or washdown applications, you don't have to worry about these rusting as you would to a caster that is not zinc plated. Our general duty casters are zinc plated, which is uh, a very good quality to have on any caster. Now the diameters we offer are two inch diameter all the way up to a four inch diameter. And then we offer materials such as a hard rubber wheel, a gray thermoplastic rubber wheel, which is going to absorb shock and vibration. It's non-marking polyurethane wheel and a steel wheel. Now we do offer other wheel materials. If you have a custom application, application, just reach out to us and call us. But these are the most commonly used wheel materials in the general duty series. So to quickly summarize the general duty casters compared to a standard institutional casters, general duty casters are offered in two inch wheels up to four inch wheels. Uh, the capacities range from 90 pounds per caster up to 225 pounds per caster. General Duty have a single ball bearing raceway, a little bit thinner material all around on the yokes. Um, but other than that, they're great quality casters. They're just meant for light duty applications. But if you're looking for a caster that offers a very good, affordable, economical price, General Duty casters is typically the one that most customers choose for those light duty applications. So I hope this video helped. Um, if I left anything out or if you have any questions, comment below. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we do release videos. We try to release at least one video per week on different hot topics in the caster and wheel industry. So thanks for watching and I uh, look forward to hearing from you soon.